guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about vitamin C because your girl has been testing out some new ones over the last several weeks and now I have a very good feel for all three of them. So I cannot wait to review them and share them with all of you. So let's get right into it, but don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as well. All right, let's talk vitamin C because truly this is one of my favorite ingredients to incorporate on an everyday basis, especially in my morning skincare routine. So if you're not familiar with what vitamin C does for our skin, it does a lot of things. So number one, it can brighten up your skin. Number two, it can help fade any dark spots and discoloration. It targets signs of aging and it can protect our skin from environmental stressors, which is caused by everyday pollution. So it really helps to protect our skin when we're outside and when we're going on with our daily lives. So vitamin C comes in all forms. We have serums, we have cream-based vitamin C. Sometimes you can find them in sunscreens. They can be in a lot of different types of textures and products. And we have pure forms of vitamin C, which is L-ascorbic acid. And then we have vitamin C derivatives, which are just as good, but they take a little bit longer to work in my opinion, and they are more gentle on sensitive skin types, and you get a longer shelf life with vitamin C derivatives compared to pure forms of vitamin C. So I've talked about vitamin C's many times on my channel, and I have shared my favorites, and my favorite form of vitamin C truly is L-ascorbic acids. And I've talked about the ones that I love, like from Timeless, SkinCeuticals, Paula's Choice. I have a lot of favorites. Of course, I will link them all below for you in my description box, but I do like to test out new vitamin C's as well because there are so many great products and brands out there. And I do like to be open-minded and I do like to try different textures, even though I love that watery based texture when it comes to a vitamin C, I do like to test out cream-based products as well, which I have a couple in this video. So let's talk about the first product. So a lot of you have been patiently waiting for my review on the Dermatology Vitamin C E Plus F Serum. I've been using this religiously over the last several weeks and now I have a very good feel on how it performs on the skin and how it wears with other skincare products and my makeup. Now this serum in particular is very similar to Timeless Vitamin C, to the Paula's Choice C15 Super Booster and even the SkinCeuticals. Those are all pure forms of vitamin C and so is this at a 15% concentration of L-ascorbic acid. This also contains vitamin E and ferulic acid as well as acetyl octopeptide 3 which is a peptide complex to help smooth and hydrate the skin, but peptides are also great to target signs of aging. So I really do love that added ingredient in here. Now the texture is very thin, it's like water, and honestly this is my favorite texture when it comes to a vitamin C serum because I usually never experience pilling when it comes in a watery type of texture. And I've never experienced pilling with this. This also doesn't leave my skin tacky or sticky and it gets quickly absorbed into my skin when I'm applying it to damp skin. So this has been wonderful. I really do love this. I think that this is another great option, especially if you're not into the other vitamin C's that I just mentioned. And if you're into medical great skincare. I think that this will be a lovely one to go with and Dermatology has so many great products and they have great ingredients as well. So I highly recommend and I'm very excited that I tested this out and I think I will continue on with this because again it really is a lovely texture and formulation. So I've actually been testing out another product from Dermatology and this is one of their newest launches and this is their vitamin C Five. So this is actually a moisturizer that contains five different types of vitamin C derivatives. So the vitamin C's that are in here is sodium ascorbyl phosphate, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, tetrahexadecal ascorbate, ascorbyl palmitate, and ascorbyl glucoside. There's also ceramides in here and there's also a peptide. Now in the past I have mentioned that I am not the biggest fan of cream based vitamin C's because I have always experienced pilling. And and I just got so turned off by vitamin C's that are creamy or that are in a thicker texture. But I have to be honest with you and be completely transparent. 
This does not cause peeling. This is wonderful and this can actually replace your everyday moisturizer if you want to. You can pair this up with your favorite vitamin C serum so you don't need to stop using your vitamin C serum to incorporate this. This could be an addition and remember Vitamin C's and antioxidants can protect our skin from free radical damage. So this is going to add that extra protection from the environment and this sits well underneath sunscreen and makeup. At least the sunscreens and makeup that I have tested this out with and I have never had an issue and this is wonderful. So there is a little bit of a fragrance to it. There is fragrance towards the bottom of the ingredient list. It's nothing too strong, it's very subtle, but I do wanna put that out there in case you are sensitive to fragrance or if you have sensitive skin but I have never experienced any irritation with this and with vitamin C derivatives these tend to be more gentle on the skin compared to pure forms of vitamin C so if you're not able to use vitamin C serums then perhaps you may want to test this out because again this might be that right formulation and that right product to incorporate to brighten up the complexion you can use this in your evening skincare routine but honestly I would keep this for my morning skincare routine and I've been using this a lot and I've been eliminating some of my other moisturizers because I just think that this formulation is on point and it really is super hydrating. And the third vitamin C that I've been testing out is also a new launch but this is by Ren Skincare and this is the Glow and Protect Serum. So this contains a vitamin C derivative. There's also Kakadu Plum which is high in vitamin A and vitamin C. There's Dragon Fruit which has a lot of minerals like magnesium, calcium and zinc and there's also pomegranate in here which is rich in omega-5. You can also find hyaluronic acid in here and I do find that this is very hydrating and plumping and I have to be honest this is another vitamin C that did not cause pilling and this is a true creamy serum very milky I thought for sure I was going to experience issues with this but I'm happy to announce that this has worked out really nice. I have used many different sunscreens with this different serums and I'm in the clear and this has been beautiful. This is very moisturizing so if you have dry skin I think you're going to love this but this is also suited for oily combination and normal skin. Now if you have sensitive skin I do want to let you know that this does contain fragrance. It has a citrusy scent. It kind of smells like an orange and I really love it. It's subtle and once you apply it to your skin with after a couple of minutes you honestly don't smell it anymore but again I want to make sure that I mention that just in case but this is a serum that you can use every day, twice a day if you'd like to, but I do like to keep my vitamin C's strictly for my morning skincare routine. Now one day I got really brave and I thought I really want to test these two products out together because there are some of you that probably use cream-based vitamin C's and I really wanted to give you some good feedback on these two products in particular. So because this is a creamy serum and this is a vitamin C moisturizer, I wanted to pair these two up together to see if I was going to experience pilling. So I can tell you for sure that this does not and again I couldn't believe it. I thought for sure with a creamy serum and a moisturizer that contains vitamin C's, I just thought for sure once I applied my sunscreen and everything that I was going to experience issues and I did not. So again, if you want to pick up both of these, at least you know that these two don't cause pilling, but if you're using a creamy vitamin C serum already, then perhaps this will work really well with it. So I am very happy with these three vitamin C's. I really love every single one of them and I will be venturing out and trying more creamy vitamin C because again, I'm just so impressed with this. So I will leave all three of these products below for you for your reference. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next one. So take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.